Hey guys, it's Derek with The Survivalist. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a quick video on some of the stuff that I do have in my backpack. Um, stuff that I can actually fit safely in it. Um, it does kind of make it a little weighty, but it is some stuff to actually look forward to having to help make uh, some of the outdoors a little bit more manageable and a little bit more comfortable. Um, I actually do have it laid out in a specific manner. So just bear with me and I'll go through some of the stuff with you. Um, uh, first, um, we do have some of the stuff to help with fire starting. Um, as you can see, I do have the waterproof fire sticks. Those will help get a fire going if you light one on fire. It does last a while. Um, yeah, some directions on how to use them on, back, on the back. And it's supposed to be a 12 piece. I actually did use a few. They work phenomenal, especially when wet. Um, I do have waterproof matches, which, you know, is uh, an okay standard by me. The strike boxes. Um, another thing is using a magnesium rod, which is that piece right down there. Plus, that is helped, is used for the uh, striker. I also have a multi tool. Um, I actually prefer these because there's a magnifying glass that you can use but it's also used as, as a compass binoculars a mirror and a periscope and a double magnifying glass um, that is actually part of the fire there is actually more um, come right over here there I do have rope um, that is also used for a few other methods but um, those you can actually find out find out in the wild it's something called the um, bowl drill method. There's also the drill method and the there's another method too. I can't think of it right now. Um, I will get. I will actually be showing you guys some of the other methods. Um, up next, I will be going through some of the water. Um, there are different ways to actually find water. I will actually be showing you guys in some videos on my YouTube channel. Um, but here is one of the things that I do have. I have the water purification straw. It is actually up to 100,000 gallons. It's called a life straw. I also have a straw that I can, you know, add to it. This is actually part of the cleaning kit. And this right here is my water squeeze system. It's got up to 16 ounces. So that's part of the water filtration system. Um, I will actually be showing you guys some of the methods of finding water. Um, up next is my, now it's not a medical kit, it's a first aid kit. As you can see, I have an ace bandage, an old belt that can be used as a splint. And I do have some stuff in here. I will actually be going through some of this stuff later on. As you can see, it's in a clear waterproof case. Um, and moving on to some of the, my other things that I would actually have added into it. Just so that way, you know, I can actually use some of the other stuff to cut trees or um, make life more manageable to help with the aid of either, either building shelters or making fires or anything like that. Up uh, first... Um, yes, I, this is actually a 3 one It is a spoon, fork, and knife. Um, it's actually very useful. I do have a multi-tool pocket knife where it's got scissors and a few other things. Put these off to the side. This right here is actually a pocket saw. Very handy. Put that off to the side. This right here is my fold-up pruning saw. This is actually good for small trees, limbs, you know, stuff like that. This right here is my hatchet. It's good for um, slightly bigger trees that this won't really, you know, get through too easily. I also have my um, knife. This is a bigger knife. I call it my Rambo knife. And it's also got a hollow handle right here. I will actually be going through and showing you guys in one of my videos that I'll be using that. And I'll show you what's inside. And these right here are actually my sharpening stones. This is a two grit, coarse, finer, 
and this actually helps to smooth things out a little bit more um i'll actually show you guys what's inside this tin these are actually a couple of other knives they're very sharp i actually leave them in here for safety reasons one is a full tang which um this blade also goes through full the full handle and this is a folding knife which is very useful so that we can actually have this in your pocket but also have this stored away so that way you can use that too um, moving on i actually do have some of the other supplies that i have which i showed you the rope earlier um this can be used for multiple different things um, one of them is for helping to cut down trees by directing them um, helping start fires and building shelters which uh, i will also show you guys later on in my videos as well um, the multiple uses of the rope um, another thing right here is my fold-up shovel absolutely love it um, practically pack that away carry it wherever i go it's actually pretty good size it's got some weight to it um, that i will actually be using at some point also um, over here i do have two different pairs of gloves these are my leather uh, tipless gloves it'll help with um, you know cutting down trees or anything like that and my other gloves these are actually padded these will help keep my hands a little warmer and protected for from you know bashing my knuckles as you can see it's padded right here um, right here I do have some carabiners I have three of them just so that way it'll actually help with like if I have to hang something up or build a shelter or move stuff around or anything like that up next i do have a couple of bandanas these are also good for um protection um they're good for keeping my head from being burnt they're also good for breathing through and also um, more water filtration so that way if i gotta do you know if I have plenty of water, I can use these to filter some of the water off for major stuff. Um, this right here, these are actually another pair of binoculars. Um, these actually do clip to my belt through here. So that way I can actually have those. And, you know, all I got to do is just take those out. And it'll help me see a little bit further. So this right here is all I have in my rucksack. Um, one thing I did not get to, my adult rain poncho. Um, this is 100% waterproof, very durable, something great to have, especially if it rains or whatever. Definitely keep you dry. Um, definitely worth having. So this right here is pretty much the extent of what I have in my little backpack. I will show you right here nice little backpack nothing major it's fabric so that right there all you really need nothing big um one other thing i like to point out is everything that is on a folding table um very nice to have show you around a little bit it does come with four little chairs awesome to have that way it'll help with a quick setup, especially if you're camping out. Um, other than that, I will keep you guys posted. Make sure you guys find me on Facebook. It is The Survivalist. Um, there is a link. It'll be the first link on there that you can click on. That'll take you right to my YouTube channel. Um, be sure to guy, you guys check that out. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Friends me on Facebook. I uh, hope you guys follow, click like, subscribe, and I'll keep you guys posted.